Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this quick video, I'm going to walk through building a smart plug. So, actually, a smart extension cord. I am going to start with um, this cheap <laughs> extension cord here that I got on Amazon. I think it's like one of the Amazon Basics or something like that. It's like two or three dollars. And then this thing here, which is a Sonoff Basic. Uh, Wi-Fi smart switch and we're going to use that to um, connect to the Wi-Fi so that we can control it from Alexa and all you need other than these two things are just a couple of basic tools so like wire cutters and then also a small screwdriver like that and with this you'll be all set and you'll have everything that you need to uh, make this work so Let's um, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut the extension cord here. So let's take this out and we're gonna cut it and strip it. You can pretty much cut anywhere. So that's not gonna make a difference. So just cut it like that. And then you want to um, strip the wires here. I don't know if it's going to let me do this. Well, yeah, I guess it will. Like that. And probably also going to want to like tear this down the middle a little bit here. I might need to get a small knife or something to cut that. But you just want to twist these for starters and yeah I'm gonna need something to like well, I'll fix that in a minute and so you want to do that on both ends Just twist and then I'm going to use a uh, small knife to trim this just a little bit to separate it so that we've still got some of the insulation near the split so that is step one all right for the next step we're going to get our sewn off switch here Take that out of the box. Directions. A QR code for getting the mobile app. We'll use that a little bit later, I think. And then here, uh, what do we want here? So we want. Make sure I have the polarity right. So the input and the output there, all right. So what we're gonna do is, um, there's, if you look in here, there's uh, these really uh, small like wire connectors in here. And if you look on the, uh, the wire, there's um, the uh, neutral, here and that there's like some ridges on the end of the wire that you can use to make sure that you've got the right sides lined up and so we've got N for neutral and L for live I guess so I'm gonna just make sure yeah so and I split this just a little bit. I used a, a small knife just to split it so I've got some um, insulation around to give it a little bit further. So I'll twist this a little bit tighter. Got my neutral and my live in there. Like 
the app. Hold it in place and then a small screwdriver to tighten it down. Yep, looks good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. There's probably some tool to twist this or something that I don't have. All right. Hold that in place, tighten it down. All right. Let's make sure that's secure. It is. Then there's these um, these covers here, which have kind of teeth on them to hold the cable in place. Cord in place. I guess that one goes there. Apparently. These are Phillips on these. Just I'm going to tighten both of these covers down here. And then the hardware part of this project is done. So that, that's easy. Voila, now we have our switch all set up. So that is the, uh, that's the hardware piece, that easy now. On to uh, configuring it and making it work. All right, so now I've got it plugged in and uh, I'm gonna test it out with something to make sure everything's working. So you can see the little green light flashing there. That is the uh, Wi-Fi, looking for the, uh, looking for the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi connection indicator. We'll do that in just a minute, but first I want to test it just to make sure I've got everything wired up correctly. And I'm going to just use this little light I have here and plug it in. And there's a manual switch on these things too, so this little black switch here is manual so I can test it out just to make sure it's all working. And yes, so the hardware setup is doing what it should be doing. So now I need to connect it to my Wi-Fi and then connect it to Alexa, and that will be next. Okay, now let's walk through setting up the Wi-Fi and um, yeah, getting it configured to work with Alexa. Uh, before before I go into that, this is the um, this is the device. I probably should have pulled this up in the beginning, but this is the uh, the device that uh, I'm working with here, 
and you can see you can get it for about five dollars I, I bought it off of amazon and i paid a little bit more for it i think i paid like six or seven dollars i bought like a three pack or a four pack or something like that um, but uh, apparently you can get it here from this is the manufacturer so this uh, it.cc and um, so from here uh, i can go to the uh, the user guide and setting up the wi-fi is pretty straightforward uh, or at least i didn't think it was too bad uh, we'll, we'll see in just a second some of the reviews on this device um, you know apparently people get uh, frustrated on the uh, setup which is partially why I'm doing this tutorial, hopefully to, uh, to make it easier. Um, but there are two versions of the, uh, the device. There's like a first generation, I guess, and a second generation of the device. And what you need to do first is um, press down and hold the, the little black button on the device when it's plugged in. So it's, pow so it's powered on, of course, these pictures don't show the power. And on the second generation device, um, it'll start blinking quickly like this uh, illustration or this GIF, animated GIF is showing here. And um, when that happens, if you've got the app installed, which is this EWE Link app, which you can get from uh, in the I Apple iOS, uh, Apple iOS app store or whatever, and also the Android Play Store. So you can get it in, uh, in either one of those places. So um, you get the app installed, you create an account, so it'll have you sign up first. And then uh, from there, you um, add the device. And when it's set up so that it's waiting for the connection, and this is for the uh, the second generation device. So on the first generation device, and I've, I've, I've used one of these also, one of the older ones, you have to, um, once this starts blinking, you have to switch if you're on uh, iOS to uh, find this as a Wi-Fi hotspot, and then you can configure it from there. On the new one, you, you don't have to do that. Uh, so it just steps you through the process, and I'll put up um, some screenshots here. Uh, that, that show the, uh, the, the process uh, that, uh, that we step through. And um, once it's connected to the uh, uh, Wi-Fi, you'll just get a solid green light like that, which means it's all good. And then from that point, you can use the app to test it, to turn it on and off. And um, after that's all working with the app, then you can go install the, um, the skill, the same EWE link smart home skill. And it doesn't get great reviews. I didn't find it to be terribly difficult, but it's definitely more technical than not. So um, you, uh, a lot of these bad reviews here are um, mostly people that just, you know, the, the too many steps and uh, got confused on the setup. But if you are able to get it set up with the uh, with the mobile device, then um, getting it set up with the skill is super simple. You'll have to once you've enabled the skill, you'll just need to log in uh, to the EW link. And if you already have an account that you created when you got the mobile app, you would use the same username and password. And then uh, once it's all set up, you're, um, you're ready to go. And once you've logged in, it'll prompt you for the devices. You add the devices and then Alexa will recognize them uh, based on the names that you gave them. So let's, um, let's take a look. I've got everything set up now. Let's, uh, let's test it out. All right, now it's time to see if it works. Alexa, turn on Smart Cord 2. Working. All right. So that's it. That is building a smart extension cord that works with Alexa. If you have any comments or questions, leave those and I will respond just as quickly as I can. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube. And uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. Thanks so much.